YMCA at Palm Center in the South Union OST community to host a back to school drive along with PPE and food distributors of the YMCA, Trace Pharmacy, Unlimited Auto Service, HEB, Houston Food Bank, Shipley Donuts at 401 Richmond Avenue, Constable May Walker's office and the office of Commissioner Rodney Ellis. I also thank uh, the amazing Stephanie Nelson's page who came out uh, she's a seasonal leader in the transportation industry, and I really appreciate her coming out. I want to thank our outstanding volunteers who came far and wide to assist us, and a special shout, sorry, Mayor, to the Theta Chi chapter of the Omega Psi Phi fraternity for going above and beyond the call of duty. The chapter even delivered food to the CUNY Homes community. I certainly have to thank my staff, Amaka, Stephen, Dee, and Desmond, for the precision-like job they did to get this done. And certainly I would be remiss, Mayor, if I didn't thank you for taking out your time of your busy schedule to come out. And it meant so much to me personally because I know you had several events before and after the school drive, but I appreciate you caring enough to make sure that you came to the District of Destination as a part of your schedule. Also on this Saturday, August the 29th, from 6 to 7 p.m., I will be the co-grand marshal with the Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee for the Census Car Parade throughout the Third Ward community. The Census Bureau will have a table set up to complete on-site census registration in the Trinity parking lot located at 2600 Holman at Live Oak from 6 to 7.30. I want to thank Diane Englehart and certainly the pastor Ed Jones III and the Trinity Church for reaching out to my office and orchestrating this parade along with the Census Bureau and the City of Houston Planning Office. I certainly have to thank my hot team who reportedly, I believe, picked up about 350 tires on yesterday. And so they are working very hard out in this heat and I really appreciate it. So they're hot twice. Um, I also want to thank, uh, re remind everyone that there is still time to register for the rental relief program. Today is the last day for landlords. 